Welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Azahar, which is a Nintendo 3DS emulator, and thankfully it can be installed on Arch Linux. So in order to prepare, what I've done is I've created a folder on my desktop called 3DS, and then within it, I've got a 3DS game. So be sure to have at least one 3DS game ready on your desktop, and then we'll use this game to test Azahar later on. Anyway, let's close this. Let's go down to Discover Software Center, which is this icon here. And at this point, it might be worth going to updates and just checking if you've got any system updates waiting. And then go down to the games category and then the emulators subcategory. And then we scroll down this list until we find Azahar and its icon looks like a white flower. And here it is. And we just click it to open it. And then in the top right corner, click on install from Flathub. And once the download has completed, you'll see this launch icon. But for now, I'll just close this window. And if we scroll down to our application launcher, just to confirm that it's installed, we'll go to the games category. And there we go, you can see Azahar has appeared in the list, alongside Steam, which we'd installed in our last video. So let's open Azahar by clicking on it once. So the first thing we'll do is point Azahar to our games folder, and we can do that by double clicking on this giant icon here. And then I'm going to navigate to my 3DS folder, which is located on my desktop, and 3DS, and OK. Now the first time you add your games directory to Azahar, You'll notice none of your games are showing, and you may see this message here at the top, which says, Important, encrypted files and .3ds files are no longer supported. Decrypting and or renaming to .cci may be necessary. So all you need to do is go back to your games folder, find your game, right click, rename, and then go right to the end where it says 3ds, and then delete that, and then just type in cci. And then as soon as you do that, you'll notice this screen updates in real time. And now your game should appear. And then we can safely click on Don't Show Again. At this stage, I recommend that you plug your control pad in. So whether that's USB or Bluetooth, I recommend you do that at this stage. And then go to Emulation, Configure. So this is the Azahar configuration menu. And along the left hand side, you'll see all of the categories. So I'll leave General as it is. And let's go to System. On this screen, you can customize your system settings, options such as your region, username, birthday, and various other customizations. For me, I'm just going to leave these as they are. Next is the graphics category, which is what I'm more interested in. So at the moment, the internal resolution is set to the 3DS's native internal resolution. But if you have a strong graphics card, you can bump up the graphics here. What I recommend you do is maybe bump these up one by one and test it as you go along and maybe stop at the resolution where you feel like your computer's choking a little bit. So for this video, I'm just going to leave it at native and then maybe later on in the video, I'll test a higher resolution. So under stereoscopy, I'm going to make sure that stereoscopic 3D mode is off because we're not using a 3D screen, so we don't need that. And another setting I'm going to disable is disable right eye rendering. So we're going to click that. And hopefully this should allow us to get a little bit more performance because we don't need the left eye and the right eye rendered. So we'll just stick with the left eye and we'll disable the right eye. And next, let's go to advance. So the graphics API settings depends entirely on what kind of graphics configuration you're using. If you're using an integrated graphics card, it's probably best just to leave it on OpenGL. However, if you have a modern day discrete standalone graphics card, I would recommend you use Vulkan. So if you click that, and under physical device, so currently it's pointing to my integrated graphics card, but what I will do is select my discrete RTX card. Something to remember, when you're playing your games, if you're experiencing a lot of stutter, it may be worth enabling, enable async shader compilation. So just remember this setting, if you're experiencing a lot of stutter, I would recommend turning this on. But just be warned, this setting does use more GPU resources. Right, now let's go to controls. Now, if you have your controller connected, you should just be able to go down here and click on auto map. And then you'll see this message that says, after pressing OK, press any button on your joystick. So let's press OK, and then press a button on your joystick, and you'll notice all the controls should get mapped automatically. And now let's go to OK. And now we're good to load up our game. So you can do that by selecting your game and just double clicking on it. Now, for some reason, Azahar crashed for me and I think I might know what the issue is. So let's just change the setting by going to Emulation, Configure, Graphics, Advance, and under Graphics API, I'm just gonna go back to OpenGL, and I'm gonna leave it on my AMD Radeon Graphics. 
and go to OK. And let's try again, and hopefully it should work this time. And there we go, the game has begun loading. Now let's make this full screen. And for the bottom screen, if you want to use the touch screen functionality, you can just use your mouse and it should work. There we go, it's very nice and responsive. Now this is the traditional 3DS layout that you're used to, but we can change that. If you go to view and screen layout, so currently set to default. If you go to single screen, you'll see just the top screen. If you go to large screen, you'll see the top screen dominate and you'll notice the bottom screen is right in the corner down here. And if we go back to view again and screen layout, and if we change it to side by side, you'll notice that both of the screens are side by side. Now, earlier on, I mentioned updating the screen resolution. Now, if we go to emulation, configure, graphics, and native, as I mentioned earlier, just maybe jump it up one by one and test it out. But for this video, I'll just jump to four and see how we get on and go to OK. Wow, look at that. Suddenly all the pixelation has magically vanished. And finally, if you'd like to terminate the game, you can just go to the emulation option and click on stop and it will return you back to Azahar. Anyway, I hope you found this guide useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.